uh, past workplaces. Yeah, I brought this up because we found out that we have uh, uh, also a matching similarity here. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Well, where have we both worked before? Hotels. Uh, hotels, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. this, this is what a, part? What part of the hotel did you work I, at? I was front desk, so I was a receptionist. Mm -hmm. So I took yeah, all the calls. Me too, mainly. Mm -hmm. But more like everything. I was trained for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, like for three years, I did like a apprenticeship. Like Germany and Austria have this like apprenticeship system where you go mm -hmm. to like a specific school for whatever job you're choosing for yeah. two months in a year. And then the rest is uh, the, the workplace. But you get paid shit. Um, but yeah, a lot of people do this instead of high school. Um, mm. And you can do it even when you're an adult, though. I did yeah. that, and then I uh, worked uh, uh, also in a hotel after that. Before I joined Holo. <gasps> Me too. Oh my yeah. god. I can't. I I couldn't believe that. I could. I, mm. I I didn't know that you worked at a hotel before. So yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> I honestly, I think I really liked it. I mean, there were, of course, like some days that, you know, where the guests really piss you off. Yeah. Mm, when they have, like, especially in like expensive hotels and you get like mm -hmm. guests who have really high standards and they think they're something better than you. And also when they come from different cultures, they just by standard think they're better than you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you got to deal with that shit. And yeah. yeah, it was fun, though. I still liked it. I loved my colleagues, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's amazing the people uh, you, you didn't like your in. colleagues, did you? <laughs> well, I, I actually loved my colleagues, but my situation was a bit different. So I actually, mm. my hotel sucked and I would be the only person there ever. Mm. Like when Smaller I, type mm, hotel. And so mm. no cleaners, no one to do laundry. So I would be doing all the receptionist stuff as well as like oh. if a room had to be cleaned, I had to go do it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. With small hotels, there's a risk that you mm -hmm. get yourself in such a position. But which underpaid is too. So I, I, I left. Mm. But I, I would really like to someday in like the far, far future after, after you know everything. I think it'd be fun to work in like a really high end hotel in like a really oh. nice city. You know? Yeah. Think about it. It, it just be so fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I. For me, it's like hard to imagine to ever go back to a normal <laughs> job again. <laughs> After three years of doing this, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if I really need to, I would probably go back to working in hotels because that's yeah. just what I what I can do. Yeah, that's let's perfect. hope we don't have to ever do oh, that yeah. again. I mean, yeah, that would mm. still be optimal. I I wouldn't I wouldn't mm -hmm. want to willingly willingly go back into yeah. any kind of work that isn't this. <laughs> but you know, because of my hotel experience and me just being mm. able to work in like touristic uh, jobs because of my the training that I did and, and the languages that I speak, I I don't know if you know this, but I once signed up for Lufthansa. <laughs> I went to Lufthansa auditions, so the German airline, <gasps> oh! and I, I made it in, and I was about to become uh, a cabin attendant. <gasps> I was about to start my training. I even canceled my apartment and everything, and, and oh uh, found an apartment in Munich because uh, that was going to be my base. Uh, it was going to happen, but then I said something in my in my health exam that f me over. Oh and, uh, no! It was all canceled. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. at least you're here now. Yeah. Yeah. I was just uh, I was really excited to do it, but honestly, it's it's a really rough job with um like lots of drama between the coworkers. Uh, it's kind of toxic environment mm -hmm. no matter what airline and really stressful on your health. Yeah. So, it's probably good that I didn't do it, but at least hmm. for one year it would have been fun, I feel like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I wanted to I wanted to be a stewardess once too. Mm -hmm. But um, mm. I never, I never went for it. <laughs> if you know like some languages, I feel like it's pretty easy to get. Mm. At least in Europe, they they really value their stewardesses to speak lots of languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was quite easy. 